Hey RLC kids, it's me, Pastor T. In just a couple of minutes, my kids will be here to tell you how you can enter to win our June drawing for an outdoor water war. But first, let's get back to the basics. We're looking at the fundamentals, what we believe about God, humanity, the church, and eternity. Today's fundamental truth, divine healing. Say, ah, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> no, you don't have to say, ah, uh, I said it for you. But here's the thing. The Bible tells us that God created us, and if he's the one who created us, then he can fix anything that's wrong with us. Jesus is called the great physician, which is another word for doctor, because Jesus heals the sick and even raise the dead. Nothing is impossible for our God, so we can pray for anything, even healing. That is so awesome. You know, the Bible tells us in James chapter 5, beginning at verse 13, that we need to pray and seek God. And in James 5, 14, we're told that if there's anyone sick among you, they should call on the elders of the church and ask them to pray over them for healing and anoint them with oil. Now, this is really important because when we pray, we talk directly to God. But when we ask for prayer, we partner with other followers of Jesus and our prayers become super powerful. We encourage one another and we get to celebrate the results together. When we pray like that, that shows that we have the faith factor at work in our lives. You see, when we put our faith in Jesus, we recognize that he can do anything. Faith in Jesus is like a key that opens the door of possibility for God to do miracles. And when we pray like that, we pray powerful and effective prayers, just like it talks about in James chapter 5. Now, there's a great story in Acts chapter 3, where two of Jesus' close friends um, named Peter and John had just been filled with the Holy Spirit, and they decided to go to the temple. But there was this guy who had been born without the ability to use his legs, and his life was pretty miserable, and so his family and friends would carry him to the temple every day. He didn't even ask to be healed. He was there to beg for money. That's what he did day after day. But on this day, Peter and John walked through that gate called Beautiful into the temple, and there they saw the beggar who said, hey, you got some change? And Peter looked right at him and he said, I don't have any silver or gold, but I will give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Then he reached out and he took the man by his right hand and the man stood up and his legs worked. It was awesome. See, that's what God can do. Awesome things when we trust in him, when we ask for prayer, when we have the faith factor at work in our lives, and when we pray powerful and effective prayers, knowing that nothing is impossible for God. Here's Pastor Ani to tell you how you can choose to follow Jesus today. Choosing to follow Jesus is as easy as ABC. The letter A stands for admit that you've sinned. The letter B stands for believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sin. And the letter C stands for choose and that's what you can do today by simply repeating this prayer after me. Would you close your eyes, put your chin to your chest, and let's talk to Jesus together. Dear Jesus, I admit that I have sinned and I ask you to forgive me. I believe you died on the cross for my sin and today I'm choosing to follow you. Thank you Jesus for loving me and for making me your forever friend. In Jesus name, amen. That is so awesome. If you prayed that prayer with me today, make sure to have your parents help you email us at kids at rlclodi.com. If you just prayed that prayer, I want you to know that God and every angel in heaven is cheering for you right now. Here are my kids, Abigail and Zachary, to tell you how you can enter to win an outdoor water war. Hey, spicy chicken tenders. Today's question comes from Acts chapter three. What are three things the man did after being healed? It's that easy. Just turn to Acts chapter 3 and answer this simple question. 
What are three things the man did after being healed? Ask mom and dad to help you send an email to kids at rlclodi.com. Be sure to include your name, your age, your grade, and the answer to this simple question. What are three things the man did after being healed? And you'll be entered to win. Now remember, nothing is impossible with God, even healing all of our wounds, sicknesses, and diseases. Thank <laughs> you.